These are three brand new 3D printed bird puzzles from Arkwood Puzzles. It's a new company we got here at Puzzle Master, and this is the skeleton key. You gotta take this key and get it out of the box, and all these little white pieces here move in and out and around and allow you to release the key eventually out the top. Welcome to Puzzle Time episode 98. We are two episodes away, Linnea, from episode 100. We are doing a draw for these two pelican puzzles. Uh, Linnea, what are the names of these? I forget. This one's Triple Three and this one's Wishing Well. Wishing Well, yeah. So these are really awesome pelican puzzles. Pelican does amazing bird puzzles if you haven't, haven't uh, heard of them before. And we will uh, give these to you free of charge, ship them to you, everything to your door, uh, all free of charge. The way you enter, uh, you're gonna episode, uh, just comment. Comment on any episodes from, I think it was 95, right? To 100. 95, yeah. Any comments, one em entry per comment, and then uh, we'll do a draw in episode 100 for, uh, for one for this and one for that. And so two people will win uh, Pelican puzzles. And uh, yeah, so enter to win episode 100. It's coming up, that's a big milestone for us here at Puzzle Master. Okay. So let's get into today's puzzles, Lamia. Uh, what's the company that this is by? You remember? Uh, Andrew Crowell. Andrew Crowell's the guy. It is Arc Arc Wood Designs, I think, yeah. is the company. Okay, what do you want to start with? Um, start with a locked sword. It's yeah. the most appealing one I, visually. I, agree. I think this one looks cool, and it's similar to Excalibur, kind of in that you have to like pull this sword out of the uh, out of the brick. Um, so we did find this company was mentioned here on um, here on the online buzz in our episodes. So I don't, we had trouble finding which episode it was, but we did mention this company in the online buzz, and it's from that research that Puzzle Master ordered this puzzle. So uh, yeah, it is. You're already got a couple things. moves in, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's a level six, this puzzle is. It's not super hard, but I love these. I think this is a really cool idea with like, it's a bird puzzle essentially, but it's a bird puzzle in a frame with a piece that you pull out and it is 27 moves to solve it. Um, and we don't have that in a decimal place, but it is 27 moves to finish the puzzle. Well, Linnea, you look like you're well on your way to solving it. So <laughs> as you can see from what Linnea is doing, the pieces push, um, and so when you push, like, so I push the bottom two out and the sword lifts up one spot and then there's other, and then it allows you to move other pieces. So you've actually got it pretty far along. Do you, take it, do you think you can take it all the way out? <laughs> go I for it. I don't know. What's I mean, interesting is, is these pieces don't actually come out either. They stay yes. in there. And that is, so we are doing three puzzles from uh, Arc, Arc Wood today. Um, and none of them come out. Like the bird pieces don't come out. It's just like the top piece that pulls out. And that's the only piece on these ones that come out. There is three other ones though with this release that came out that were lock puzzles, hey? And so we're gonna be doing those lock puzzles next uh, next episode. You're, you're really close, eh? Yeah, it's just this piece won't move now. So as you see, oh. so it can lift out and then. So then the piece is inset into the puzzle. Oh, into the frame. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. I just assumed you'd just be pushing these in. There's like a button that moved back and forth. Not oh, that they went in. No, they're like burr pieces. They look uh, kind of. That's cool. Okay. So now we've got three of these here today. I The thing that surprised me, they're all, it's two level sixes and a level seven. But this one has as many moves as the level seven that you solve it. So I don't know why it's easier. Weird to me. Yeah. I don't know. Our level system sometimes isn't always 100% uh, correct, but hey, so that's the uh, locked sword right there. We'll put those aside and then we'll move on to this one. Okay, so this one's called, uh, what's it called again? Moise. Tomb, Moai's Tomb. It's a level, this is rather level six, so it'll be the same level as the, the locked sword. 14 moves to solve this, which is weird to me that it's the same level because the other one's 27 moves. 
sword. See, these two move automatically at first. Yeah. And then this can lift up right away when once those both. move. Okay. And I like that they have a little like engraving Moai's tomb right there. You see, it's like, what, what are these called again? Do you remember Stone the Hinge? Easter Island heads. Easter Island heads, yeah. It's like modeled after those heads. The big ears, nose. See, I can brow. get to this point. I've got to this point a couple of times. Yeah. And then figuring out where to that's, go next That's interesting to me that this piece of Oh, there we go. And then up. this piece moves after that. You can kind of see, once you get it open, you can see the inner workings and stuff. And you can actually, like, I think that's part of what maybe makes these so easy is that you can actually see inside of them when you're doing them. Yeah, that right. gives you hints to yeah. where to move next. It really does, but... yeah, because you can see what needs to go where a bit. You can see what the burr shapes are on these, these sticks when they come out. So, yeah. Okay, move on. Yeah, I you did guess. fairly good on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I it also, this one says uh, free meat right on the side here. You can see that too, on both sides actually. But I like the little bit of engraving on this one. I guess the sword had it too, right? The sword has, there's uh, like the... the on the other side, yeah, it says Locked Sword. It has his name on the inside, and then it said Locked Sword here on this side. So there's some little, little S Easter eggs or extras inside the puzzle itself. Last but not least is the skeleton key right here. So this one shows you off a lot to start with. Yeah, and then it as... really popped out far. Yeah. I love the coloring on this. I think that's what my favorite part of this thing is the coloring. And I like the, the, the detail in the, like, the top of the, what do you call this? The key, I guess. Yeah. So this yeah. is called the Skeleton Key. This is the hardest of the three. Um, so it's a level seven on the Puzzle Master difficulty rating scale. For those of you who aren't aware, our scale goes from five to 10, five being easiest, 10 being hardest. So this is kind of right, uh, right in the middle uh, for difficulty. Again, you, if you look through the top here, you can kind of see a fair bit of what's going on under, underneath. So again, I think that gives you some hints. Uh, you can see Andrew's name there on the key itself, a crowl. And then on the other side here is the, the skeleton key engraving of the name. And I like that. It's kind of, I think it's similar to what um, Kaniyama does with their puzzles, right? They have like engravings of names and stuff yeah. in the puzzles. And I really like that, that little like extra feature, extra touch on it. Um, it's this piece I think you might have to move at the beginning because that's the piece that's going to let it go at the end is that yeah. one that I'm getting stuck on. Hmm. Yeah, you can see some of these pieces like need the do you think there's rotation in the in the bird pieces in these i it's doubt it because they're I not think, supposed to remove so, so i don't think there would be rotation often them, often this one of the, the unwritten rules with bird puzzles is that you don't rotate unless it specifically says that kind of with the puzzle so a rotation would be like one of these pieces spinning and that often can lead you to some like shortcuts to some bird puzzles because uh they're not made to uh be able to spin like that and or the design is that you would spin a piece. And so sometimes you can get, you can create enough space where a piece spins and then you get it out. And we've had some shortcuts on bird puzzles to say the least, but yeah, these are good. I like these puzzles are very different. I, and you know, I think you lose um, in the, the pictures on our website, you lose the, the aspect of like the size. These are big puzzles and these are, it's a really nice, well made, well done 3D printing. Some of the 3D printing is a little sloppy sometimes. These ones are really tight and I feel like the, the pattern and the look and the design has been really, really done well on these and they have a great movement. So, um, yeah, one of the better, better 3d printings we've seen as far as puzzles go. Uh, I would recommend all of these. They are not on the, the harder level of things, but I, I really like the, uh, the general look and, and the feel of these. And I, I enjoy, enjoy bird puzzles. I've been enjoying bird puzzles more and more as I, as I kind of play with them and get into them. So mm -hmm. these are great. Yeah. So this is, um, arc wood designs. Check them out on the Puzzle Master website, puzzlemaster.ca. Let's get into the online buzz. The online buzz. So my favorite one that I found on YouTube is, I think his name is Wanners. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> hard. One RS? Yeah, I don't know. something it's like that. It's all one word. Really good. I'd recommend this one. Yeah. There's a lot of 3D printed stuff, so it kind of ties in with this a little bit. But he mostly does like the puzzle boxes on there. So he doesn't do any talking any music it's just a quiet video but the video and the puzzles in it are really cool puzzles yeah yeah there was two of them the neck ne okay, <laughs> neck okay necronomicon maze box was unbelievable there's two videos actually of it so the first video shows you um like just the straight solution the second video shows you some of the inner workings of that solution and how it works because it's not ultimately apparent 
the uh, the mechanism inside. And the mechanism was beautiful. And I think that was what I found on Juan RS, Juaner's uh, page is just beautiful, beautiful um, uh, mechanisms. So like, I think on this one, like there's some elastics on it. I'm like, they kind of fell off in one part when he was doing, I didn't love that, but beautiful stuff. Um, great designs and, and yeah, they were, they were great. There was a 3D printed puzzle box to amaze one, right? Because remember there, there was one, it had like yeah. this fish design on the side. He pulled the fish's eye out. That gets put into the top of the box and you, you have this maze and then there's gears. It was super cool. Definitely check him out. It does not seem like he sells his puzzles, but he, the, the designs are available. So if you wanted to 3D print yours, uh, we went to, there's a couple different design sites we use and we checked out the designs. You can buy them there. And then he also had some instructions on like just little things to change and things that worked well for him when he was doing them. So I love them. I love, man, I, those puzzles. I'd love to get them here at Puzzle Master if we can. So yeah, who knows? Maybe one day you'll see them, but that was great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then two other really quick ones. Um, we found a 3D printed Korean secret box on YouTube. So this was interesting. It was a 3D printed version of, um, more or less a 3D printed version of our Romanian puzzle box. So if you go to puzzlemaster.ca, search the Romanian puzzle boxes. They're not exceptionally hard, but I love the, the, the design on them. They're beautiful um, they're boxes, beautifully yeah. beautifully made. And the mechanism is good. Like I actually really, really like the mechanism. It's, 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 it's cool. And this was very similar. I think they actually improved on it though. There was some yeah. like, tiny little tweaks they did on this one. I think they actually improved on the the, the mechanism in it, which I, I yeah, I like that. So I really liked it. Um, do you remember what page it was on? I don't remember what the channel was called or what channel it was, but it was on YouTube. We'll put a I link in the description. I think it might have been 3D printed boxes or 3D printed world or something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. There's a lot of 3D printing stuff out yeah. there. Okay, and then last but not least, uh, Karen Puzzles. Um, I, I like her stuff. She's <laughs> one of the few ladies out there doing puzzles, so I, I appreciate her stuff. She kind of comes out of the jigsaw puzzle world. And in the video, she does one of my all-time favorite puzzles <laughs> called the Nosy Puzzle. I love the Nosy Puzzle. Um, yeah, her and a friend of hers solve it. And they, it's her sister, I think. Sister, yeah. yeah. Well, and I think her sister has another channel. So definitely check it out. Nosy Puzzle by Karen Puzzles. She solves it really quick. Um, suspiciously quick in my opinion because <laughs> like that's a hard puzzle yeah. uh, i mean if she if she didn't cheat bravo because that was that was exceptional it's a hard puzzle um not super hard but like it's a, it's a good twist I, I like it so check it out karen puzzles they both do it really quick they uh they crush chris rounds each time i know karen um often is very much in on um checking her times against chris rounds these yeah. times so she definitely beats him by quite a bit. Well, she <laughs> so. has an Instagram account too, if you want to check out more of hers does. as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely do check that out. That's the end of our online buzz. On that note, Linnea, they can check us out where on social media? On Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and then we have our website. And you can subscribe to our newsletter that we send out. We send out a weekly newsletter in our email. It has different perks in it, so different information stuff. Yeah. Lots of stuff coming out. Um, we're working on some new things here. We've got a bunch of, I mean, there's just so much new puzzles coming out all the time. We're just hitting these guys. There's tons of stuff. Go to our puzzlemaster.ca website, check out the new new items tab, and uh, see what else is coming out. So. Remember to enter our draw too. Comment yes. on our episodes. Comment. You can comment as many times as you want to enter lots of times. Yeah, and you can enter to win you. your own, very own free um, Pelican, Pelican puzzles. puzzles. Thanks guys for watching. Um, have a good day.